Welcome to Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay. It is a base of the United States Navy located adjacent to the city of St. Mary's in Canham County, Georgia, on the East River in Southeast Georgia, and 38 miles north of Jacksonville, Florida. The submarine base is the U.S. Atlantic Fleet's home port for the U.S. Navy Fleet Ballistic Missile Nuclear Submarines, capable of being armed with the Trident Missile Nuclear Weapons. This submarine base covers 16,000 acres of land, of which 4,000 acres are protected wetlands. So Don and I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel. This video is about the Eagle Hammock Campground on base. It is open to retired military, active duty military, civil servants, and government employees. It's definitely a place that you should check out. It's very inexpensive. Off season is $26 a night and on season is $31 a night. So right outside the gate, there's a uh, mock-up of a submarine that you can go check out and, and visit. Miss Donna had lots of fun and there's a plaque out there that tells you all about it. We're at Kings Bay Naval Base. This is the submarine base right on the Florida Georgia border. And that's the USS George Bankoff. There you go. And this is the, the Franklin Gate. And the Franklin Gate's closed on the weekend, so that's why we're doing it today. Because today's Sunday and there's nobody here. Okay, this is Eagle Hammock Campground on the Navy base. Right in front of us is the office. I'm trying to do this with my phone. And that's D Lake. That loop right there will go down that way. Actually, it's not a loop, it's just a road. Use some of the waterfront sites, and as you can tell, there's pretty good room between each site, they're not on top of each other. They have lots of fishing here. You can take a kayak out, go bass fishing. I don't recommend swimming because uh, there's gators there. So definitely check it out. There's lots of act outdoor activities. This is a very well-maintained campground. They keep it very clean. All the sites are pretty level. Most of them are concrete slabs um, that you, you pull up on and you really don't even have to do anything to, to get level. All right, we're coming out the first section. To turn left, this is the other waterfront section, and again, that's your sights. Lots of fishing, kayaking, boating all through here. Very dog friendly park. These are your sights. So I was stationed on this base from 1990 to 98 when I retired from the Navy. This is a very quiet base. It's strictly just for submarines. I'm trying to do this driving it old my So where you see that white pickup truck in the video, right behind that truck, there is a fishing pier there. It's actually like a floating dock that you can fish off of if you don't have a boat. F, which stands for Lakefront Sites. There's no really loops. I guess this one's a loop. They're, they're done by A, B, D, E, and F sections. Very quiet campground. 
So for activities around here, there's all kinds. There's Crooked River State Park, which is just a couple miles from the base. St. Mary's downtown waterfront is just a couple miles from the base. There's many, many activities, and you're literally on the Georgia-Florida border. So just a 30-minute ride, and you're over in Fernandina Beach. Friday. I think they open at 10 a.m. Close at like 4 o'clock, 1600. And the camp post right there. So if you come in after hours, you just come over here, park right here, and you call. And you call the camp post. They come meet you out here, and they take you to your site. Well, this is the A section. That's the B section, and that row over there is the C section. So they don't call them loops, that's what they just call them sections, rows. A row, B row, C row here in the front. Over here is the bathrooms, the community room, the laundry. If you're using Starlink, I recommend that you don't get the F loop because the tree line will block your line of sight to north. Got this Class C coming in. I guess that's Class A. small campground. So the entrance is through here and it has a loop that goes around this way and a loop that comes this way. The dog park is right there. So this is D, D section. E section is the pull throughs. The next section is the also back up. As you can tell, there's quite a bit of space in between each units. There's full hookups, water, power, cable, sewer, and Wi-Fi. There's a pretty good amount of room between each, each unit here. The winter is the season when they call the season here, it's more expensive. It's $31 a night during the season. Off season, i.e. the summertime, is $26 a night. And um, have a lot of snowbirds that come here because we're right on the Florida-Georgia border, literally on the Florida-Georgia border, right off at Interstate 95, exit number one going into Georgia. It's a very quiet park. military, active duty, retired military, and civil service. That's where we are parked right there. And that's our unit there. Here's what the men's bathrooms look like. They're pretty clean. You got toilets over here on this side, urinals sink area and showers and they're all very clean places kept up you can kind of see what you're doing um, this the females bathroom I'm sure is about the same TVs, couches, tables, a full kitchen. This is open to anybody that's staying here for use. It has all the local cable channels. Back here is the porch area. There's a library.
MWR stands for Military Welfare and Recreation. Talks about the uh, events for the next month or so. Taylor Swift concert tickets for five bucks. Can't beat that for being part of the military. But this is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you just come in and do your thing. It has game stations for kids, Nintendo, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's all hooked up to the Wi-Fi. So this is the community room. That's the laundry, it's free. So you have a free laundry here. It has like five washing machines, five dryers, and, and this comes out to one of the sections of the park. So this is our site for the next two nights. It's full hookups, water, power, cable, sewer, whole nine yards. And we're at the Navy base. Really nice campground. We are towing the Ranger and the Jeep also. And we're gonna take Kiki for a puppy walk. These are the missiles that they use on the submarines. And they started out with these over here to here, and then this is the Trident D5 missile that they use on the Trident submarines. And each one of those missiles holds 10 nuclear weapons. But that is the strategic weapons facility. Like I was saying earlier, Crooked River State Park is right down from the base. If you're not military and you don't have base access, I highly recommend that you check out this area and stay at Crooked River State Park. It's a beautiful park. Lots of trails, lots of bike trails, lots of hiking, and a nature center. Really cool for the kids. And then you can go over to St. Mary's and see downtown St. Mary's. And Fernandina, which is in Florida, is just a short drive. This is a beautiful area. Highly recommend you check it out. Downtown St. Mary's is also called the gateway to the Cumberland Island, which is on the one of the Georgia barrier islands. And they have run a ferry that goes over there and uh, lots of wild horses and uh, history and everything if you're really into that kind of stuff. Highly recommend you check that out also. Thanks for watching our video. If you found this video or any of our videos helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. We hope to bring you future content with our travel adventures and our RV upgrades and other things we're doing. Thanks. Bye.